Our story begins with Kinjiro, a normal high school boy whose nose bleeds whenever he's touched by women. This rare condition of his developed as a self-defense mechanism against his mother and little sister, who used Kinjiro as a punching bag throughout his childhood to practice wrestling moves. But on one particular day, Kinjiro heads to the boys' restroom and accidentally walks in on Subaru, which is not a car but rather the most popular boy in school, who's wearing a pair of woman's panties. Kinjiro is surprised to find out that the boy beloved by all the girls in school is secretly a pervert but he decides that it's none of his business and simply walks away. Subaru, on the other hand, doesn't want his secret to get out and threatens to erase Kinjiro's memory by force. Kinjiro stands his ground, however, and readies to fight, only to immediately sprint away, with Subaru chasing after him. But when a jar is about to fall on Subaru's head, Kinjiro leaps in to save him, and quickly realizes that Subaru is actually a girl after accidentally groping her chest. In response, Subaru throws a fire extinguisher at Kinjiro, which knocks him unconscious. He wakes up moments later in the school infirmary, with Kanade, Subaru's master, laying next to him. She reveals that she bribed the nurse to leave, so they could have the infirmary all to themselves. And after teasing Kinjiro for a bit, Kanade explains that the men in Subaru's family have served her family for generations, but since Subaru is an only child and a girl, she must cross-dress as a boy to attend high school and continue serving as Kanade's butler. If Subaru's true gender is ever found out, she'll be forced to quit being a butler and drop out of school too. As such, Kanade threatens Kinjiro to keep this secret between them, and in return, she'll help him cure his rare medical condition that causes him to fear women. The next day, however, rumors begin spreading around school that Kinjiro and Subaru are dating, due to them being seen together. This draws the attention of Subaru's fan club, who attempts to attack Kinjiro, only to be stopped by a member of a different Subaru fan club, who fantasizes about the two men dating. To make matters worse, Kanade decides to send Kinjiro on a practice date with Subaru, in an attempt to cure his condition. After school, Kinjiro is surprised to see how cute Subaru looks when she's not dressed as a boy, and takes her out on a date at the arcade where he wins her a cute sheep plushie. Near the end of the date, Kanade calls Subaru and forces her to let Kinjiro touch her chest, once again in an attempt to cure his condition. But Kinjiro is suddenly kicked in the head by Kuraha, his little sister. Subaru is fearful that someone else has found out her secret, but it turns out that Kuraha actually believes that Subaru is a boy cross-dressing as a girl to seduce her brother. She then attacks Subaru, but she easily deflects this, sending Kuraha running back home in tears. Kinjiro returns home as well and expects his little sister to suplex him as usual, but instead finds a mutilated teddy bear, which worries him greatly. The next day at school, Kinjiro helps Subaru from having her secret exposed during a physical examination by measuring her chest himself. And in return, Subaru helps out Kinjiro by measuring his chest too to prevent the nurses from activating his condition. Despite the considerable embarrassment that both of them are forced to go through, the two begin to bond as friends. Afterwards, while the two enjoy lunch together, Subaru falls asleep on Kinjiro's shoulder. Moments later, Kanade appears and thanks Kinjiro for helping Subaru finally find her first real friend. When Kinjiro returns home that day, he is shocked to learn that Kuraha is actually in love with Subaru, who she still believes is a boy. The next day after school, Kuraha confronts Kinjiro about him dating Subaru, but Kanade dismisses this by claiming that she is actually Kinjiro's girlfriend. To prove this, Kanade sets up a double date at the swimming pool with Kinjiro, Subaru, and Kuhara. While Kuraha and Subaru go on ahead, Kanade explains to Kinjiro that Subaru and her were once kidnapped for ransom when they were children, which has led to Subaru being deathly afraid of knives. Later that day, Kinjiro rescues a girl from drowning, but then passes out due to blood loss. While unconscious, Kinjiro thinks back to his hospitalized father, explaining that Kinjiro's name means stand by me, and that he hopes Kinjiro will grow up to be a good man. When Kinjiro regains consciousness, Subaru receives a phone call from a strange man in a wolf mask, who informs her that he has kidnapped Kanade and Kuraha, and plans to kill them if Subaru doesn't bring the ransom money to a specific place. After the kidnapper hangs up, Subaru immediately starts feeling inadequate as a butler due to being unable to protect Kanade once again. Seeing how shaken up she is by this, Kinjiro decides to knock her out and pursue the kidnapper on his own. But when Kinjiro meets the kidnapper, he's unable to land a single hit and is easily outmatched. Despite this, Kinjiro refuses to yield. Suddenly, Subaru arrives and defeats the kidnapper herself without letting her fear of knives hold her back. After saving Kanade and Kuraha, it's revealed that the kidnapper was actually Subaru's father, and this whole incident was orchestrated by Kanade in order to help Subaru overcome her fear of knives and her insecurities as a butler. 
Later that day, when Kinjiro regains consciousness after the beating he endured, Subaru tearfully begs Kinjiro never to risk himself again, as she doesn't want to lose her first real friend. However, Kuraha interrupts their moment and inadvertently reveals that Kanade was supposed to be going out with Kinjiro. Subaru immediately reacts with anger, forcing Kinjiro and Kanade to run away from both Subaru and Kuraha. Some time later, while Kuraha is out fighting bears, Subaru shows up at Kinjiro's house dressed up with cat ears and a tail, and asks Kinjiro if she can stay with him to be his temporary butler, because Kanade's father kicked her out of the mansion for the time being. Kinjiro reluctantly agrees, but since Subaru does not want him to lay around all day watching anime recaps, the two train inside a gym to pass the time, and Subaru proves to be too strong. Afterwards, Kinjiro decides to take a bath alone, but Subaru insists on joining him to wash his back. This moment is interrupted however, when Kuraha returns home early from camp due to breaking her arm from wrestling a bear. And when she sees a woman's underwear in the wash basket, she furiously enters the bathroom, and immediately passes out in embarrassment upon seeing her beloved Subaru bathing with Kinjiro. When Kuraha regains consciousness later that day, she puts on a cute maid outfit just for Subaru. Kanade arrives moments later as well, and decides to live with Kinjiro and act as his maid, which results in a brief competition between Subaru and Kanade to determine who is the better servant, but Kinjiro suddenly passes out from a cold. After Subaru attempts to treat him with several, very questionable cures, Kanade decides to finally explain the situation to Kinjiro by taking him to the beach. Once there, it's revealed that Subaru's father was also kicked out of the mansion due to an ongoing fight with Subaru because of the kidnapping situation. He blames Kinjiro for causing a rift to grow between him and his precious daughter. But Subaru arrives shortly after and declines to return to the mansion because she wants to take care of Kinjiro as she fears that she might lose him from an illness too, just like her deceased mother. And despite being lightheaded from his cold, Kinjiro convinces Subaru to make amends with her father and return to the mansion together. At the end of their week off, a flustered Subaru thanks Kinjiro before leaving. And Kanade, who is secretly spying on them, notes that this is the first time that Subaru has thanked anyone other than her. Suddenly, Kanade kisses Kinjiro and says she'll always remember this first kiss. On the way to school some time later, Kinjiro gets run over by a girl on a scooter, but he miraculously lands on his feet unharmed, while the girl ends up on the ground. When Kinjiro asks to reach between her thighs and retrieve his glasses, she takes this the wrong way and attacks him in response. After Kinjiro retrieves his glasses, the girl introduces herself as Usami and reveals that she is a friend of Kuraha before leaping into the air and knocking Kinjiro out. He wakes up later in the infirmary, where Subaru reveals that she found him passed out in the middle of the street and brought him to school. Subaru then embarrassingly asks Kinjiro to accompany her to the upcoming school festival, and she's incredibly happy when he agrees to. As they continue to talk, Kinjiro mentions his first kiss and how he wants a chance to redo it somehow. Subaru misunderstands this, as she believes he is referring to when she gave him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation while he was unconscious at the pool, and she offers to redo their kiss properly this time, much to Kinjiro's confusion. Kanade suddenly interrupts their moment and climbs on top of Kinjiro to tease him. Later that day, Kinjiro runs into Usami on the school rooftop who reveals that she's actually a member of the Subaru fan club, and demands that Kinjiro be her boyfriend for the school festival, as part of her plan to defeat the other Subaru fan club. Kinjiro initially refuses, but he's eventually forced to accept after Usami blackmails him with a picture of him and Subaru on a date together. Subaru arrives moments later, and upon hearing that Kinjiro is going to the school festival with Usami instead of her, punches him in the stomach, and runs off in tears. The next day, as the preparations for the school festival are underway, a girl named Nakoru is shown spying on Subaru. During the school festival, Subaru interrupts Kinjiro and Usami during their fake date, and insists on following them for the rest of the date afterwards, which greatly overwhelms Kinjiro. But when he manages to get away from the girls, he trips and runs into Nakoru dressed in a sheep mascot costume, who introduces herself as the chairwoman of the Subaru fan club. Nakoru reveals that she knows all about Usami's plan, and she needs Kinjiro's help to put an end to it. However, Usami arrives shortly after and knocks out Nakoru, while Kinjiro explains to Subaru that the two fan clubs are organizing a meeting, which may turn into a war with him stuck in the middle. To put an end to this quickly escalating situation, Kinjiro and Subaru manage to sneak into the meeting, and are surprised to find that Kanade is a representative of one of the fan clubs. The meeting turns out to actually be a quiz about Subaru trivia, which Kinjiro, Subaru, and Nakoru agree to participate in. But when the last question is about Subaru's first kiss, she reluctantly reveals the answer as being Kinjiro, who she kissed during the swimming pool incident. 
Afterwards, Kanade informs Kinjiro that Usami resigned from the fan club, and he runs around school looking for her. He soon finds Usami alone on the school rooftop, where she explains that Subaru used to be distant and lonely, but has become friendly and cheerful ever since Kinjiro entered into the picture. In response, Kinjiro reveals his condition to Usami and explains that his relationship with Subaru is more complicated than she thinks. Later that day, he introduces Usami to Subaru and Kanade as his new friend, and the girls quickly become acquainted. The next day, Usami vows to help Kinjiro cure his condition, and asks him to start calling her by her first name, but this proves too embarrassing for her. Some time later, Kinjiro is forcibly taken to a hot springs resort, where he wakes up in the same bed as Kanade. She explains that she has run away from the mansion because her parents decided to travel abroad for the summer, and that she told the innkeeper that she was eloping with Kinjiro as a cover story. Despite this, Kinjiro is aware that Subaru and Kanade's ulterior motive is to help him cure his condition while at the beach. But when Kinjiro goes to the beach cafe to buy a drink, he's surprised to see Kuhara and her friends working there. Subaru and Kanade soon arrive near the cafe, prompting Kinjiro to have Subaru put on glasses, and Kanade introduces her as Takanashi, Subaru's fake cousin, in order to protect her true identity. Later on, Kanade offers for all the girls to stay at the resort with her, until Subaru's father suddenly shows up with the intention of taking Subaru and Kanade back to the mansion with him. Thankfully, the two coerce him into letting them stay by threatening to call the police for attempting to kidnap Takanashi. That night, Kinjiro has trouble sleeping due to the sight of all the beautiful girls around him. As such, he decides to go into the men's bath to calm himself down. But Subaru turns out to be there as well, since she is protecting her female identity from being discovered. The two awkwardly bathe together until Kinjiro accidentally sees Subaru's body, and she knocks him unconscious. The next day, Kinjiro and the girls, with Subaru pretending to be Takanashi again, spend the day at the beach having fun together and then head to the summer festival, where they all put on beautiful yukatas. After some time, Subaru disappears from the summer festival, and Kinjiro finds her at her mother's grave. To cheer her up, Kinjiro embraces Subaru as she reminisces about how her mother always worried about her not being able to make any friends during her childhood. However, Kinjiro becomes lightheaded due to his condition and collapses onto Subaru's chest. He wakes up a while later on Subaru's lap, and the two watch the fireworks together. As summer vacation comes to a close, Kinjiro anticipates a crazy semester ahead of him, though at this point he's pretty used to his everyday life being quite crazy. He then tells Subaru that he plans on remaining friends with her, but as the fireworks come to an end, she reveals that she wants something more than that. It's the start of the new semester and Subaru still has Kinjiro in her mind, meanwhile Kinjiro is still being rudely awoken by his sister. During lunchtime, Kanade brings a delicious meal to share with Kinjiro and Subaru. But due to the food containing white wine, Subaru becomes slightly drunk and begins to strip. Kinjiro is dismayed when Kanade rubs some sauce on his neck, just to have a drunk Subaru lick it off. After he takes Subaru to the infirmary, he later takes Kanade to the infirmary as well, as she begins to experience an episode of hiccups. Kanade tells Subaru to go and get the tools needed for the hiccup treatment, in order to give herself some time alone with Kinjiro so she can seduce him. However, he pushes her away and runs out of the infirmary, only to bump into Subaru. After Kanade has seemingly stopped hiccuping, the three walk down the hallway together, but Kanade suddenly falls down a flight of stairs and injures her ankle. She's then taken to the hospital, where Subaru blames herself for not being able to prevent Kanade from falling, and Kinjiro attempts to console her. Subaru's father then shows up and relieves Subaru of her duties as a butler. Kanade insists that Subaru must remain as her butler, but there's nothing she can do about it. Subaru runs away in tears, while Kinjiro chases after her, and he eventually catches up to her. She thanks Kinjiro and kisses him, before running away, leaving Kinjiro behind as he passes out from a nosebleed. Kinjiro is later woken up by Usami who happened to be passing by, and she gives him a ride to where Kinjiro and Subaru had watched the fireworks together, as he believes that Subaru ran off there. After confronting Subaru, they spend the night together at a nearby inn, but sleep in different beds. Subaru suddenly wonders if Kinjiro would do more than just kiss. Kinjiro misunderstands however, and assumes she wants to turn him into a man, but in reality she just wants to sleep closer to him. The next morning, Kanade picks the two up and takes them to their homes. When Kinjiro arrives at school the next day and asks Kanade where Subaru is, he's shocked when Kanade responds that Subaru has transferred schools. However, Subaru arrives at school later that day, dressed as Takanashi, pretending to be a new transfer student. Kinjiro is happy to see that Subaru can live as a normal girl now, but she surprisingly admits to him that she enjoys being a butler more than being a normal girl. With that in mind, Kinjiro visits the Subaru fan club and is immediately attacked by them. 
But after explaining the situation, he enlists their help to get petitions signed so that Subaru can become a butler again. The next day, Subaru reprises her duties as a butler once more, and Kanade makes up a cover story about Takanashi transferring to another school. Later that night, Subaru summons Kinjiro to the park, where she thanks him by forcefully planting a kiss on him, leading to Kinjiro subsequently getting a nosebleed and passing out. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you all again in the next video.